When I first came here, the thing that struck me is that this place has got some history to it. Well, when you think of a power station, I don't think you think of something quite as grand as a building like this. It's just incredible, the size of it, the acoustics. So here's the safe, the mysterious safe. The safe's been locked probably since the power station closed in the 1980s. But you do wonder what will be inside. Everyone likes a mystery. It's still a bit of a mystery, but we're starting to unlock that mystery. The amazing history that's gone on here at Barking and Dagenham, it goes back to the 14th century. Barking was a small fishing village. It was actually a really major tourist destination during the late 1700s and early 1800s. But by the late 1800s, it was starting to become a place for London to dump its rubbish. In the 1890s, electricity is becoming important in London. Well, as they get more and more demand, you have to build more and more local power stations. And people are rather getting fed up of all the smoke that's coming from all these local places. So in 1925, they go for a complete change of policy. And here at Barking, they build the largest power station that had ever been built. So this is the main entrance to the building. We'd have had the reception team sitting in that office. I think one of the amazing things here is the way they built quite functional buildings and how grand they were back in the 20s. It was an undertaking fabulously expensive. The investment when it was originally built would have been a building where the detail on the design from the floors to the ceilings, no expense spared. The tiles going up the wall, the staircase, it's a beautiful building. When it opens in 1925, King George V comes here. He's very excited about this huge new power station. King George stood about here. You can see the footprint of the control panel, which would have been here. And King George V, he gives a speech where he talks about the strength of Britain being the strength of its coal fields. Well, we've been this rich on coal. If we can develop electricity to the same way that we've developed coal, we can run the British Empire at a great new efficiency and strength. You look at other power stations around the UK and other buildings of the time, you know, 1920s, 30s, a lot of them were celebrated buildings. The power station closed in the 1980s and a lot of the buildings were then demolished and this is one of two which is still standing and if you have a look around the building you'll see the old safe. Originally the safe was in the room where the finance people worked, so on a Friday when the workers had done their shift they'd go to the finance room and they would get their wages. People would have been paid in cash and uh, well you did seem to get quite a few wages, robberies, so you can see why it is a secure room. The key's lost in time so we need to bring in a professional to help us open the safe. I've no idea what's in it. It could be anything, so we'll, you know, it could be full of gold, who knows, it might be empty. Very excited to see what, what we get. Best case would be sort of some exciting new documents about how we lived in the 1950s. We think from the nature of it, there might actually be an inner safe as well. My heart was pounding. Actually seeing that door open was just absolutely amazing. We've been waiting such a long time for it. It's been really exciting today. We found lots of uh, documents inside, some stationery. You can see the stapler, which is probably older than me. I was just blown away by what was inside. And also, most uh, excitingly, another safe inside the larger vault. Now, why would we have this? Well, it wasn't unknown for thieves to actually steal the whole safe from inside the building, drag it away and open it up in Epping Forest at their leisure. Mind you, I don't think this one's going anywhere. And so we're quite excited to know what, what actually is going to be in that safe. <laughs> well, let's just hope it's not another safe. <laughs> that safe didn't have anything in it, but the time capsule that the vault has provided us gives us a real look back into what the time would have been like. But you have to wonder, why did they leave it locked? This is a strange glimpse into a world of work that's disappeared, a world sort of pre-computerised. I'm sure this isn't the last mystery this 
fascinating building will reveal. A building so important for the history of power supplies to Londoners that brought electricity to so many people. In this building, it's got a rich history that we want to preserve. We think it will add value to the community. Really important to remember what was here in the past. There were hundreds of people that worked here. This is their legacy and it's great. It's great to see it's still here.